Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the B&W Companion 5th Wheel for OEM prep packages on GMC and Chevy trucks. Now this is going to be available in two different configurations. Right here we have our 25,000 pound rated. There's also a 20,000 pound rated, so depending on which load you have, you can choose between the two of them. Now, whether you're new to towing or you're a veteran, more than likely you've heard of B&W, and that's for good reason. It's really some of the highest quality products you can get out there. And if you talk to any owner that has any B&W product, they're going to definitely recommend the product because they really are great through and through, and that's no different with our companion today. And it's really nice with factory puck systems already on trucks. They know you're going to be using a fifth wheel and BMW has designed this to work directly with that Chevy style puck system. So really it is just a drop in and go, which is really nice. Um, not only for the installation purposes, you won't have to get rails. It keeps everything nice and clean when you don't have it in here. But the companion is really great because you can take this head off separately from the base. So if you do need to remove your fifth wheel for whatever reason to use your bed, it's not too bad compared to some of those other fifth wheels. Now, I wouldn't consider any fifth wheel lightweight, but the great part about this one, being able to separate components, uh, having one piece and then the other, is gonna really eliminate uh, you know, having that full bulk weight. And the way to do that, pretty simple here. We'll just pull our cotter pins. We have our pins here that go through. They're on a chain, which is really nice. It's gonna keep that you know, not loose to where you can lose it. And once you get these slid out, you have these rubber gripped handles, which are really nice, spring loaded. You'll just simply pull up and then you have your head removed. And that leaves you with just the base, which is equally as easy to remove. You're just gonna take these linchpins out and these handles, if you turn them quarter turn, that's gonna allow you to raise this up. We have a castle nut and cotter pin that gets our uh, arms to be able to go into that puck package. So that allows you to really fine tune it. You don't want it too tight where you have to slam the handle, but you also, this is pretty loose. So I can just take this cotter pin out, tighten it down a little bit, and that's gonna take some of that slop out. Either way, it's gonna latch in place uh, just by pushing it this way. And then once that linch pin's in place, it's gonna be locked in. So I'll go ahead and get these four out and show you the base coming out. And what's nice, once you have the base all unlatched, to lift this up, there's two handles. Uh, that makes it nice and easy to be able to lift this up straight. And it's not terribly heavy. This makes it to where uh, moving your fifth wheel out of your truck is a one-person job because you can separate it where other fifth wheels, you're going to struggle to do it by yourself. You'll probably need an extra set of hands. So if you constantly take out your fifth wheel, this is definitely going to be the best option for you. With the head off, we'll take a closer look here at our base and these arms, you'll be attaching them. There are um, points of adjustment for height and you can also rotate these um, one side to the other. So you can get two inches uh, to at least center up your kingpin exactly where you want it and also get that height dialed in. Um, so that way you can really custom fit it exactly to the RV that you're gonna be hauling or whatever fifth wheel you may have. Um, you also have a spring here for your head to kind of keep that in place for when loading up. And just overall, you'll see the powder coat finish kind of goes throughout the entire fifth wheel. Uh, it's got that nice B&W gray that makes it stand out, but it is a really durable finish. I have rarely seen these chips scratch or, you know, they just hold up long term. So even people that have tons of miles on them, it's going to be looking just as good. So we'll get this put back together so you can we can go over a few more features here, but you can see pretty quickly, pretty easy to drop in. You just kind of center this up and get these lined up with your factory puck system. And we'll replace these linch pins here, but uh, you can actually run a lock through here if you want to make sure that no one's walking away with the face of your fifth wheel. With that base in place, we'll just drop this in which is nice. The handles that you hold to drop it in are gonna allow that to be open. And then once it's in place, you just let this down. And nice thing too, is once these pins are in, it becomes kind of a safety mechanism to where it can't become unlatched because it's gonna block this handle. So we'll get this all cotter pinned up. Now, as far as getting your king pin on your fifth wheel, this has one inch thick dual jaws here that's gonna wrap around that king pin 360 degrees. The handle's super nice to use here. And you know that it's gonna be in place once this aligns and it's gonna lock in place again using a linch pin. Now, as far as capacities go, still again, very heavy duty with our 25,000 pound rated, our 
vertical weight is going to be 6,250. Now, if you're on that 20,000 pound companion, it is going to drop that down a little bit to 5,000 pounds. That 360 degree jaw around that kingpin is really going to cut down on rattling going down the road. And that seems kind of minor until you do have a fifth wheel that is clunking around as you're driving. But it continues on to all the other connection points of the fifth wheel having polyurethane bushings. So let's take this head off again and I'll show you that. The poly bushings here where the head rests is going to allow to make sure that it's nice and smooth. It's going to cut down on noise and overall just make everything a little bit better. We also have this blue strut here and that's going to keep everything centered up. Uh, and a big thing too is when you hit the brakes, it's going to want to move around and that's where really where you're going to hear a lot of that noise. That's not the case here. You're going to get a much quieter ride. So if you're on the fence whether or not to pick up the Companion for your OEM prep truck, take a look at our reviews and you'll see people swear by BMW. I think once people kind of move their way up the ladder and they've used a bunch of different products, once they land on the BMW, they generally stick with it forever because they truly are fantastic products. Now a few things to keep in mind before purchasing yours is you do want to make sure that your truck is 2020 and newer with the prep package. The older ones are slightly different and this is designed to work specifically with the 2020 and newer. And something else to take in consideration, we have a long bed so no problem getting this but if you have a short bed you are going to want to look at the sliding companion. Uh, that way you can get that cab clearance to not smash the corners of your truck on tight turns. Uh, B&W Companion Slider is awesome. It is a little bit bigger, quite a bit, and quite a bit heavier. So uh, you can still use this with a short bed truck, but something you're going to want to look at is a rotating pin box like a Sidewinder, and that will actually allow you to use this. But otherwise, short bed, I would highly recommend getting a sliding companion. And that was a look at the B&W Companion fifth wheel for OEM prep packages on Chevy and GMC trucks.